Good day. Today we are going to focus on the capital note and the current account note. So we are told to prepare the following notes as it will appear in the balance sheet for the year ended 28 February 2021. So this is our year. Then we are doing the capital notes and the current account note. Okay. The information, uh, the following balances appeared in the ledger of Mabella's candy store on 28 February 2021. So we are given the information. We are given the, the capital. So additional information. Mr. Mabella's I mean, Mr. Marvel took stock to the value of 35,000. This was donated to a local charity in his personal capacity. So this is a drawing. This transaction was not recorded. Okay, let's go and record it. We have the drawing. Let's go and record the drawings. So we know that the, the drawings, they go under current account note. So how much is Marvel drawings? So the drawings for Marvel, are 25,000. So I'm going to see 25,000. Plus, then we have the new drawings for thirty five thousand plus thirty five thousand. So now, how much are the drawings for my bill? Thirty five plus twenty five is equal to sixty thousand. So now my bill has sixty thousand drawings in this year. Okay. And then information number two, on 1 December 2020, Mr. Marvel increased his capital by 175,000. No entry has been made for this transaction. So it was 1 December. So this is a capital contribution of Mr. Marvel. So it's 175,000. What else? So nothing else now is affecting the capital. So how much is the capital for Mr. Marvel? It's 360 at the beginning. Then we don't have the withdrawal. So 360 plus 175 is equal to 535,000. And then for Miss Lane, we don't have the capital contribution and also the withdrawals. Okay. The partners are entitled to an interest of 15% per annum on their capital balance at the end of the financial year. So let's start with the Marvel. So Marvel at the beginning started with a capital of 360,000. Times, okay, let me do it like this. Let me do it like this. So Marvel started the capital of uh, 360,000 times the percentage of 15%. The answer is 
times 15 divided by 100 is equal to 54,000. Interest of Mr. Marvin, the capital that he started, he started a year with. So, the interest of Mr. Marvin, so we have 54,000 plus, then we are going to calculate the interest of the new capital. The interest of the new capital. So the new capital is 175,000. So the percentage is 15%. And this capital, which was on, introduced on 1 December 2020, meaning that it's for 20, 1 December, December, January, February, three months. Is equal to 175,000 times 15 divided by 100 times 3 divided by 12 is equal to 6,562. 6, okay. So let's just round off six thousand five six three. Six thousand five six three. Six thousand five six three. So if you add them, they are going to give you sixty thousand five hundred and sixty three interest on capital for Mr. Marvin. Now, now for Ms. Lee, so there is no capital contribution. So meaning that uh, her capital stayed for the whole year, and her capital is 760,000. So 760,000 times 15% divided by 100 is equal to 114,000. Okay. The next one. On 1 January. 2020. So our year uh, ends on 28 February 2021, meaning that our year starts on 1 March 2020. So now they are telling us about uh, the previous year. Mr. Marvel received a 10% increase on his monthly salary of 26,500. So uh, the salary of uh, Mr. Marvel uh, used to be a uh, 26,500, but now they increase it by a uh, 10%. So times 10% is equal to 26,500 times 10 divided by 100 is equal to 2,650. So this is an increment, meaning that in total now uh, the, the salary per month is 26,500 plus 2,650, which is equal to 29,150. We confirm 26,500 plus 2,650. Is equal to twenty nine thousand six hundred one fifty. Now, uh, the salary for Marvel per month is twenty nine thousand one fifty. So times twelve. We want we, actually we want the salary per year. So twenty nine thousand times 
twelve is equal to three hundred and forty nine thousand eight hundred. This is the salary of Marvin. Three hundred and forty nine thousand. And then for Miss Lin, Miss Lin's salary for the year amounted to 425,000. And then at the end of the financial year, Miss Lin received a bonus equal to 12% of her annual salary. So annual salary of Ms. Lee is 425 times. So the bonus they are saying is 12% of her annual salary. So her annual, so her annual salary is 425 times 12% divided by 100 is equal to 51,000. So therefore, the bonus of Ms. Ling is 51,000. Mr. Marvel and Ms. Ling share the remaining profits and losses in the ratio of 3 is to 2. So they share a ratio of 3 is to 2, meaning that Marvel received a 3 over 5 and then Ms. Lin received a 2 over 5. And then Ms. Lin portion of the final contribution of, pro of profit amounted to 125,000. So the final distribution of Ms. Lin is 125,000. It's already recorded. Now we want to find out that how much is the total final distribution. So to do that, what we must do is that below we must put what we have and then above we put what we are looking for. So what we have is a final distribution of Miss Lane. So the final distribution of Miss Lane is two. And then what we are looking for is a total is a total finite distribution which is five so one twenty five times five over two is equal to three hundred and twelve thousand five hundred now because we are looking for the final distribution of Mr. Marvel we are going to say 312,500 times 3 over 5 is equal to 312,500 times 3 divided by 5, 187,500. Okay. And then Mr. Marvel received a bonus of 12,000 at the end of the financial year. Mr. Marvel received a bonus of 12,000. Now let's calculate the primary distribution. So 310,49,800 plus 12,000 plus 60,000. 563 is equal to 422 three. and then the total a uh, primary distribution for Miss Lee it's for 590,000 now, to get to get a 
the profit as per income statement we say primary plus final so 590 plus 125,000 is equal to 710 15,000 primary plus and final is equal to 610 and 9863 now now the drawings for miss lane drawings for miss lane is 80000 Now to get the retained income for the year, you see uh, the profit as per income statement minus drawings. Take this one and then you subtract this one. So which is going to give you 610, 85,000. And then this one minus this one minus this one so which is going to give you 609,863 minus 60,000 is going to give you 549,863 now the retained income at the beginning of the year that is current account so the current account of mr marvel has a debit balance so remember the current account is an owner's equity so uh, if an owner's equity has a debit balance it means that is a negative balance so we must write it in brackets so 2300 And then current account of Miss Lane it has a credit balance, so it's favorable, so it's positive. So 4,500. 4,500. So 549,863 minus 2,300. Minus 2300 is equal to 547 563 685,000 minus 4500 is equal to 689,500 yeah 